I think that signals a certain amount of excitement that he's in a video again. It's quite obvious he enjoys his few minutes of fame every time I do a YouTube video. So from Ollie having a wash, it's back to me and it's Anne of Rosie Duck here. Thanks so much, much for joining me today. Um, I'm hoping to get this done before the sun totally obliterates um, what's coming through on the screen. And it's crazy weather at the moment. Something like um, nine degrees. No, no, my adding up's not that good. Is six degrees higher than it should be this time of year. I'm, I'm getting some sort of blank looks from my husband here. Um, no, it's ne never been my strong point adding up or subtracting. So I'm back. Last time I shared with you this card that I, I said I was going to put together, which I will do at the end of the video. But I wanted to share with you um, a little technique that is known as masking. Now, I've bought the card in that I've made primarily to prove that it can be done and I did manage it. But as we know with my videos, anything can happen. So that is the finished product and I'm going to try and replicate that today. So bear with me. I have to say that I'm totally in love with this little set, Fable Friends. Um, it's a very simple little set. Um, I think what page it's on. You can almost miss it. I should have, uh, should have probably marked this before I started. That's been a good idea, might not. Why is after the event as always? Yeah, there we go. So you can almost go through it without noticing it because it's only this little tiny section up here. But it's just so cute. Um, I think it's got so many uses. I mean, last week we obviously used it to make a, a baby card. But I think it's got a lot more mileage in it than, than simply that. So the first thing we're going to do, put that out of the way. It's a cling stamp set. And the more I'm using this, it is clinging easily but I'm not struggling to get it off my block I have to say that have been on there quite a while um, so I think also we tend to get used to things don't we it was all a bit new when they first came out so I've got my standard piece of white card which is eight by six scored at four on the long side so I've then got my base card just giving that a nice fold with my bone folder. I've got two pieces of lemon lime twist card cut at three and three quarters by five and three quarters and that is going to go with the gingham designer series paper. That is also in this catalogue somewhere. There go, under the gingham gala um, suite. So we've got Lemon Lime Twist, Whisper White, Highland Heather, Grapefruit Grove, Daffodil Delight and Balmy Blue. So a nice mix of, of very spring-like colours. And I have to say it's it's been a pleasure to revisit Lemon Lime Twist. It's one of the in colours from the 2018 to 2020, no, 20. 2017 to 2019 sorry so we're about to lose this um, come June and when we first had it I was totally in love with it and used it all the time when we had the colour revamp at the start of the catalogue in 2018 we then had Granny Green Apple which I've tended to divert to if I'm honest so it's been quite nice to revisit this because this was certainly one of my favourite colours before so let's just put the base card together. So using my snail, I'm going to stick stick one in the middle. Stick that way around, slightly bent. 
my phone is now ringing, so you might need to pause the video. You might fall off of there if you're not careful. Don't roll this way, will you? All I can say is that he seems to understand the word video because literally we were talking about getting ready and doing it before the sun got too bright in this room etc etc and the next thing I'm getting everything in here ready and he's at my feet it sort of kind of looks like I make him sit up there every time there's a video just so that I can make mention of him but I seriously don't you're up there with your own free will aren't you enjoying your few minutes of fame each week you clearly are far more comfortable in front of the camera than I'll ever be. So I've got my front of the card now. This piece of gingham I cut at uh, three and a quarter by five and a quarter because I wanted a, a bit more of a border than perhaps we normally have around a card. So that's the easy bit done. Now the next thing I want to do is my rabbit. And I want some smoky slate. Last week we did, um, I think it was a, a brown rabbit. But this week we're going to do a grey rabbit. So I'm using the smoky slate with my rabbit stamp. And just onto a piece of whisper white. I'm putting him slightly on the card because I'm, I'm going to be using... Um, the big shot to cut him out. So I might as well do my envelope as we did last week. Just have him up the corner and not the complete rabbit. So that's my envelope done. Now I'm to do the masking bit I need to mask off the rabbit. So I'm using just a normal post-it note and I'm stamping the rabbit onto the spine of the notepad where the sticky bit is. Now I know that probably sounds obvious but I have been known to stick my rabbit here because that's what you always do, you centralise your stamp. But without the sticky bit it's of no use whatsoever. And I'm going to then fussy cut around the rabbit. So if I'll start it, then perhaps we'll just pause it. Um, just. So I'm making a start around there. It's not got to be perfect, but it does need to be the size of the rabbit. Perhaps if we perhaps pause it there. So I've got all my rabbit. I'm just doing this little bit back on camera with his, his whiskers. Now I'm not going to cut out literally that tiny area of the whisker of you know that very thin line, but you do need to just have a little gap there. So I'm just cutting that very finely between the two bits of the whisker. So far, I can't pick it up with my nail. It's like um, trying to find the hole in the sewing needle. One of a certain age will appreciate my problem with that, I'm sure. Right, so there we are. We've got the rabbit, and he has whiskers of sorts. Now this is the rabbit I want to use my card. So and this bit is the sticky bit from the post-it note. So what we're going to do is just lay that on top of the stamped rabbit. And then I need another piece of um, paper and I'm just going to stick that at the bottom 
because the stamp I'm using is going to be bigger than the rabbit but I don't want that showing under his feet makes any sense so what I'm going to do is what we did here put some flowers around him now I was thinking that we'd make perhaps a, a, a nice get well card or if you're giving somebody some flowers um, so my plan is to actually leave the card uh, blank so I'm not going to put a sentiment on it but then add that as and when I know what I want to use the card for it's always quite nice to have in your stash of cards um, some cards that are ready to, to go because you just never know when you need a card it's usually at the most unexpected time and when you haven't really got the time to um, sit and make one I'd have probably brought a bigger block in with that if I'm honest but we'll make do with this so this is the the leaf from that, uh, that stamp set which is the beautiful bouquet if I didn't say that is in the annual catalogue and that's a, a nice photopolymer set I have to say I've used this quite a lot um, it's, it's got some pretty little flowers in it some really really good sentiments um, certainly lots of things I use like uh, thank yous and anniversaries so yeah really nice little set if, uh, if you're looking for some sentiment doing what I normally do when I work and throwing things everywhere now I have to say my lemon lime twist was a little bit dry so I've stuck some uh, ink on it to re-ink it yeah so that's good so I want to try and position these um, leaves so they look like the rabbit is standing in front of them but giving me enough of the stems to put some little flowers on so I don't want the stamp to go over this side because I'm going to put some more leaves over there so I've got to make sure that I keep my stamp on here and I want to keep as much of the leaves and the stems behind the rabbit so this bit is superfluous which is why I've put this extra bit of, car of paper here so I hope that makes sense But as I said, anything could happen. And having right, so that's a lot better. I don't think I'm going to be able to go over that if I'm honest. Just try. Otherwise, we might just have to stop it, and I'll have to redo it. Actually, I think that's fine. That will do for the purpose of what we're trying to achieve today. So I'm taking that off. So the key there was, I think on that side, I wasn't pressing down hard enough because I've got this extra piece of, of paper that I'm trying to then put the ink over. So I'll be pulling the rabbit off. So effectively, we're left now with the plain rabbit. All the excess stamping is on the piece of um, post-it note. And then we've got just some leaves and stems behind him. I think I'm going to do my rabbit next. So, organised as ever. I need a blender pen. I think I need a sip of coffee as well. So, with the smoky slate, going to colour in the rabbit like we did on the previous video 
but unlike the previous video I'm leaving his tummy as a, as a white so he's a grey and white rabbit this time now I always have a piece of card if you've not seen me use blender pens before just to take off any excess ink that I'm picking up that I, I don't want so because these are his legs I'm quite happy for that to be a quite a dark grey this produces that idea of a bit of uh, form of his legs and a bit of uh, sort of shading as well so that's that bit let's all do the envelope while we're here so I've only got a little bit of the rabbit fur in this one Marley I quite like the curtains without holes in them it's not too much trouble I also want some darkness around the ears and I'm doing the outside of his ear because I want to put some pink in the middle Now for his face and his arms or his hands I want it a lot paler I, I want the stamp features to, to show through So we'll do that bit and we'll do the envelope quickly or as quick as can be done. A bit like painting by numbers. least all the hard bit the actual image is stamped for you haven't got to draw the rabbit that's where I would come totally unstuck I have to say I've recently got into Pinterest finally and my friend is a, is a brilliant artist so I started by looking at some of her work but then you get into what other people have done so it's amazing how clever and talented people are and I've probably been saving more of those on my board than or on my balls than I have actually stamping up things I'll put a link to that on the front of the video so if you want to have a pop over there and and see what I'm saving as well as um, card making there's some other things there's some brilliant inspirational sayings on there and I think sometimes you just need something that uh, sets you up for the day oh dear thank you for reminding me that I need to do this rabbit as well I got a bit sidetracked with Sleeping Beauty up there. He's, he's totally gone now. I think. And there's somebody that was the uh, crunchy bits. Might well provoke a reaction, might it? <laughs> oh, it's such a hard life being you on it. What's your problem? Are you trying to get in on your brother's act, are you? 
Ollie will think there's only room for one superstar in this house. Or super cat, I should say. So I'm putting some um, lovely lipstick on his little, on her little jacket, I'm guessing, pink jacket. And I suppose you shouldn't presume. My husband's got some very nice pink shirts, but although I have to say they're not this colour. So it's quite a dark colour, this um, lovely lipstick, so you, you want to take some of it off, I think, because otherwise it's just going to be too, too bright. becomes more like a red. I'm just going to pick the buttons out with the full colour there and we need to do the envelope. It's always nice to just put a little bit of detail on the envelope. It sets it apart from the cards that you buy in the shops. Just gives that extra bit of idea that you've really sort of thought about the person and you've gone that extra mile to make the card extra special. So, that's the envelope done. Put that up there for safety. Be finished with this, I'm just cleaning it off as best I can. And now I want that little stamp from the beautiful, beautiful bouquet stamp set. So I'm going to put And then I'm going to stamp off, so I'm not going to re-ink, I'm just going to, so it gets a little bit of a lighter effect on the little flowers. Now I don't know how many of these are going to get cut off, if I'm honest. So... go with what I've got here. And I think I want a pale one above his head because otherwise it's just going to overshadow the rabbit. There we go. So some Wink of Stella just to a bit of shimmer in the centre of the, the little flowers. And that will just pick it up with the light. So I'm just going to cut that out using one of the laying oval frame mitts. And I want the biggest one that I can possibly use. So I think that's going to work. like that. So I've, I've got as many flowers in as I can get. So if you'd like to pause that I'll just cut that out with the big shot. Right so I've cut that out using the layering oval framelit for the rabbit which has got the crinkled edge 
and there was just one that's slightly bigger than that so and that's a, the smooth edged one now there's not a lot of difference so all you're going to get is a is a tiny peeping through of the color um, so just to give it a little bit of uh, extra detail otherwise you could if you wanted to I'm not going to stick it down but you could just put it straight on your card like that of course there's always something that I've forgotten to bring in and that's the stamping dimension another one of those stop start videos I think just trying to line this up so I'm getting the green coming through so that's just going to go on the center of my card so I do need to go and get some stamping dimensionals I'm afraid not too bad no, it's not too bad for me it's all right when I forgot the design just before I finish the card off I'm just going to add the these little flowers to the inside of the card just to tie that in with the design that's on the front and again I've used lovely lipstick for that so I'm just putting that in the centre of the card as I said before I'm just going to leave it as a blank card so that I can add my chosen sentiment except I won't be putting that bit in because I've just stuck it's on my thumb <laughs> so that's what I will be doing to finish off that card I will put in a clean piece of whisper white with my um, little floral design so I've rescued that so that that's fine so I won't share you with you the finished card there you go I can do the front <clears throat> make sure I've got that the right way around I'll put my little rabbit which I've now got stamping dimensionals on on the front of the card and then I'm just going to put some of these enamel glitter dots and these are in fact in lovely lipstick I think that's gorgeous grape can't remember what the blue one is but that's granny green apple but they're quite close in um, colouring so I, I thought it actually quite worked so I'm just going to stick one up here one over there And just one down there so if you can imagine that the inside is finished like this one and we have our envelope so that's that card is finished so that was that was just one with some uh, masking technique so give that a try. It, it's always uh, it's quite a good, effective little uh, trick to get some uh, depth to your card. Something a little bit more simple. Um, the measurements are exactly the same, and I'm, I've used the uh, balmy blue um, gingham paper, and I've just literally done a little grey. I'm scared of getting pink everywhere. I've just done a little grey rabbit with his balmy blue um, jacket. Reminds me of a certain famous rabbit. But probably it's best to say nothing more about that. <laughs> so I've, I've just, again, I've used the layering ovals, but this time because of the the rabbits are a lot smaller, I've managed to cut him out using one of the um, plain edged, and then I've got the crinkled edge as the background, which I think is is quite pretty. So I'm just going to stick him on the front. Exactly the same measurements, everything else. And the envelope is the same. And in this case, I've left the 
inside blank again to add a, a sentiment as and when I've decided how I want to use the card. So I hope you've enjoyed that. All the mistakes as well. I won't stick that on top of that sticky bit of card. Um, all of these products are available to buy on my online shop. So as usual, I'll put a link to that on there, on the front of the video even. Um, the news, big news today is that there's a second release of celebration items. So there's two level one uh, rewards, a stamp set and a 3D embossing folder. And there's also a, a new level two reward, which is a stamp set and um, a packet of the designer series paper. So very pretty floral designer series paper and a really lovely stamp set which is both a cling and distinctive so that's the one that gives you the real depth uh, um, of, in, in this case it's a floral one um, unfortunately my order hasn't arrived in time for me to share that with you today but um, hopefully by the time I'm, I'm back with another video I'll be able to share those products with you in the meantime pop over to my shop you can browse the celebration items that are available plus the new ones all the normal links will be on the front, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and all the product details that I've used in these projects today. So I hope you've enjoyed the video um, and if you have perhaps you could give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be great as well. So I think there's nothing, Ollie's saying it all for us, I can't really finish it any better than that. It's Friday and it's time to chill. So have a great weekend everyone, thanks ever so much for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Until then, take care, bye.